The free phase desynchronous motor or induction motor is an electric motor driven by an alternating current where the angular velocity of the rotor is lower than the rotation speed of the magnetic field created from the stator's winding. Three phase desynchronous motors are considered the most reliable electrical machines, since they can work for many years with very little need for maintenance. Jais, for over a decade, has been providing its customers with the best solution for the supply chain, and in their catalog you can find any type of asynchronous motor from the leading manufacturers. Let's now disassemble a real motor to see how it is composed. Its external surface is thin, and there is a cooling fan directly connected to the crankshaft. The fan, thanks to the shape of its cover, makes the air to flow into the fins in order to dissipate more easily the heat that the motor develops during its functioning. In the upper part, there's a terminal box, where the clamps are located and to which the power cables will be connected. The latter can be connected in a three-phase electric power star or delta system according to the necessities. By removing the end shields, the crankshaft and the rotor can be extracted from the external casing. In the stator, which generates the rotating magnetic field, are placed the brass coils, which are separated from each other by the ducts of ferromagnetic material. Several plastic elements electrically isolate the reels in order to avoid any short circuits. Inside the rotor in which the rotating magnetic field is induced, we can clearly distinguish the almost horizontal lines, which are created from the squirrel cage, and the vertical ones that are made by foil layers. Finally, we find the bearings, which by holding on the crankshaft and on the end shields make the rotor to stay perfectly at the center of the stator winding and to rotate with minimal friction. Stator and rotor are separated from each other by just tenths of a millimeter so that the forces of attraction can be as effective as possible. The electricity is induced on the rotor thanks to electromagnetic induction and not from a direct electrical connection. That's why this motor is also called induction motor. Besides, the rotor is never going to reach the speed of the magnetic field, but instead it's going to rotate with a specific speed which must be inferior to the synchronous velocity. This explains why it's also called the asynchronous motor. If you're interested to see this motor's internal functioning mechanism in detail and to discover how you can use them in the industry field, you can watch the video in our playlist, what is an induction motor and how it works. If you think this video was useful, let us know your opinion by leaving us a like and a comment. You can also share the video and subscribe to our channel. We suggest that you take a look at our website jazzcompany.com in order to find out more about our next projects.